I'll go to you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This may be my only opportunity to speak to this legislation. Uh, I'm deeply troubled by the fact that um, this government, which professes the high purposes of the United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People, appears in practice to decide that free prior informed consent means to continue to coerce First Nations until they give consent to a decision that has already been made. I refer to the Trans Mountain Pipeline as an example, which the government of Canada bought without uh, conferring with First Nations, as we should have done, and continues as First Nations in my uh, territory, which I'm honored to represent uh, of the uh, territory of the Saanich Nation. Uh, Elected members of council here have told me that the TMX, now a crown corporation, comes to them offering money to try to get them to stop objecting. That isn't free or prior or uh, consent, and yet that's what's being practiced right now. I have to, uh, I have to give the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary a chance to answer. Uh, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and I thank the member from San Francisco Islands for her intervention. Uh, this is an important issue, and it's an issue that obviously is a dynamic one, and it's an issue that will be uh, will be uh, considered in, on an ongoing basis. But the quote that I was about to finish from Mary Ellen Trapelafon, I think, captures the idea in response to the member's question. What she said, as counsel for the AFN, is that quote: "The idea of free, prior, and informed consent is some kind of veto is simply not supported." That is not how it's operationalized. So that's an important point to register with respect to the timing of the negotiations and the timing of the of the of the outreach to First Nations communities, be they elected leaders, hereditary chiefs, or other individuals. That is a, a, a that is a very valid point that the member is raising, and that is something that we will continue to work on as a government and as all parliamentarians to ensure that that consultation is sought at the earliest possible opportunity. Thank you.